Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Shark Bait News. Today we talk about the price hike with Amazon Prime. Will Biden keep his promises to Long Island's favorite summer festival coming back to us? I'm your host, Laura, so get ready for Shark Bait News. Amazon has raised their prices for Amazon Prime to $139 from $199 for their yearly subscribers and $14.99 from $12.99 a month for monthly subscribers. It's their first hike since 2018. Consumers are noticing price hikes amongst other streaming platforms like Netflix as well, leading to cancellations and stock droppings. Are you still tired after sleeping for eight hours? Does your day feel like you're sinking in quicksand? Doctors say that if you have increased isolation from loved ones, coworkers, and people you used to have a bond with, burnout and fatigue can make you feel like those things aren't really worth it anymore. Ways to get out of the funk are seeking mental health, focus on what you can control, practice positive affirmations, and setting boundaries with social media. It's time for a break, but before we do, we still have more to talk about, like, by, like President broken promises, lowering his approval rate, Long Island Summer Festival, your weather forecast, Valentine's Day Revenge, more to come after these messages. Hey, you want to know what I'm listening to? Suffolk County Community College's internet radio. The music here is as diverse as students all across the campuses. And they play anything from Billy Joel to Ariana Grande. But the best part about it is, it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I just go to sccir.com and click the play button. So start listening today. It's all hits all the time at sccir.com. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet is a popular reference to William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, which implies that the names of things don't affect what they really are. Now you can include yourself. You should know, Suffolk County Community College's new chosen name policy lets you use a name you want to be known or identified by. That's different from your legal name. A legal name would be a name that appears on your passport, driver's license, birth certificate, visa, military ID, or US social security card. Nicknames, aliases, and or chosen names are acceptable. Profane, obscene, hate speech derived, offensive or derogatory names are not acceptable. For full details, you can check out the chosen name policy on the college's website here. Welcome back, let's get back into the show. President Biden's promise on forgiving student loan debt has fallen flat. The debt is preventing people from buying homes, being able to support themselves or start a family. For the millennial generation, it has been extremely rough being told they could be anything they wanted to be because of the American dream. The interest is a huge burden to many. Biden's approval rate has dropped severely to 41%. The winter has had a strong start with snow, coldness, and heavy winds. But the good news is we have something to look forward to. Alive After Five in Patchogue is officially coming back this summer for over a decade. It has been the most popular festival on Long Island that is full of live music from multiple artists, food trucks, face paintings, pop-up shops, and the time of your life. Alive After Five has been on the back burner since 2020 due to the COVID pandemic. Rockmart Police Department in North Carolina has the internet in the frenzy because they posted about scorned exes turning in those that broke their hearts. If they know of any warrants issued to their exes, they might get the last laugh. It says, give us a call with the location and we'll take care of the rest. This Valentine's Day month long special starts off with a set of limited edition platinum bracelets, free transportation with the chauffeur, a one night stay in a luxurious five star accommodation and professional glamour shots that will be posted online for all to enjoy. The special is capped off with a special Valentine's Day dinner. It's time to switch it over to our meteorologist Lily for your seven day forecast. 
Good afternoon, everyone. I'm your meteorologist, Lily. We have freezing rain to start Monday off, and Tuesday will be partly cloudy. Wednesday and Thursday, we finally get sunlight, and then it's nothing but more coldness and clouds for the remainder of the weekend. The good news is that there's no snowstorm this week. Bringing you an end to your seven-day forecast, I'm Lily, your meteorologist, and have a great day. Back to you, Laura. Thank you, Lily, and thank you for watching Sharkbait News. I'm your host, Laura. Stay warm. Come back next time. Visit us at SCCCRCV on Instagram and YouTube for more content.